Um, there's another model that I, I used uh, in the past to kind of describe how to structure uh, an experience, whether it's a whether it's uh, a game or uh, a job or a relationship, so that there is a greater opportunity for people to get into that zone, uh, that flow, that opportunity to have fun. So I want to. Have you ever? Do you know about? Uh, have you ever? been in a gym PE class and had to jump a high bar? Okay, so this is this is the model that we want to use, that particular experience. Now, ostensibly, this is one of those experiences that coaches give kids so that to encourage them to greater and greater challenge, uh, to develop greater and greater skills, right? So the way it usually works is you have a whole bunch of kids here, kid, 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 and then one at a time, they go, they try to put the high bar, if they succeed, they go over here to the winner's section, right? If they fail, they go over here to the loser's section, right? And then they continue until you have practically everybody in the winner's section, and in the loser's section, and a few people in the Winner section, right? And then they raise the high bar again. Is this familiar? Mm -hmm. This is the way the game is work? And so how does the thing end? The thing ends with all the people who really need the encouragement, the opportunity to develop their skills, the, the, uh, the challenge, over here in the loser's circle. And the one or two people who are such good athletes that they, in fact, really need no other motivation or other... Uh, credentials or uh, uh, class uh, approval uh, over here in the winners in the world winners circle. So that's that structure, which is a, a very familiar structure to us all, where if you succeed, somebody raises the bar, and they keep on raising the bar until you fail. That structure is common in many relationships in work relationships, in school structures, in, unfortunately, sometimes even in, in interpersonal relationships and couples, if they constantly are raising the bar, creating an environment in which sooner or later everybody's going to fail. There's another way to do this. So suppose, suppose you have, here's your high bar thing. And this is the, how the high bar is displaced. So what happens? So when it's your turn, you decide where you want to jump on the high bar. 